Eagle Eye Football here, Crystal Palace nil, Fulham nil. Joined here with the chairman. What's your thoughts on the game today? Rubbish, isn't it? Start to finish. Um, couldn't put two passes together. Um, no attacking threat. No excitement. The only excitement was probably running over your headphones with a hoover, wasn't it? However, there's one difference which you guys need to know. These are now wireless headphones. <laughs> it was probably running over your headphones with a hoover, wasn't it? Then the actual game. But, no, nah, it, it was pretty appalling, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, <no! laughs> I'm guessing headphone gate is going to be a thing now on Eagle Eyed Football. But, but no, disappointing. Bun the headphones, yeah? yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the game? <laughs> no, well, we're just struggling with injuries, aren't we? You know, we haven't got, we haven't got this squad, haven't got no depth, can't bring no one to change the game. Fulham would have better, so I knocked it around well. But even then, in the last... Thought the third they did very well, but Sam Johnson made two great saves, didn't he? But we just didn't really create anything. I mean, their keeper had a couple of regulation punches and one save, which wasn't hard. But no, nah, we just didn't perform much all today. You know, some of the some of the attacking play from, especially from Edward, his touch was absolutely awful, wasn't it? Couldn't pass two feet in front of him, and that was a problem. You know, you get to the edge of the box, it's too intricate, can't push it together. So, no, nah, really disappointed. First 20 minutes, we were shocking. And then Roy made a very slight change, scrapped the three at the back, played four at the back, started to get more into the game. Do you think that maybe we should have capitalised on that time that we were on top? Possibly, but in, in the time we was on top, we never really created anything, did we? No. It was actually, the only time we started creating something pretty regular was when Mateta came on. And Mateta had two or three shots, you know. And, you know, we had some situation around the box where we got some corners and some shots and things like that. But it was just... I mean, you saw it every time we had, they, we had a corner. They had all 10 men in the box. We couldn't break it down. We had no idea how to break it down. We had no skill to break it down. We miss, obviously, like the Lee says. Um, I thought Eze played pretty well, but he had to go so deep to get, um, to get the ball that when he got the ball, he had three, four players in front of him. He was never going to do that. I think, I think maybe Roy could have put Eze in the middle, you know, um, <laughs> Sooner. Of, yeah, sooner rather than later, because he was just getting ice laid out. Front. He did it when, when Jez came on, but it was too late by that point. Uh, what can he do? One of them games. Yeah, pretty dreadful game, but finally, who's your man of the match? Um, yeah. I, I'm going to give a shout. I mean, Ez played well, and, and uh, Mark, Mark Gray played very well. I said Anderson, but how can you not give it to Sam Johnston? I mean, the two saves actually kept us in the game. Really, they should have buried them. There were, there were goals all the way. We thought it was a goal, but... You know, no, same jobs all the way for me. Chairman up the palace. Up the palace. Always up the palace.